subscribe for more Roblox videos. And use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. Follow me on Roblox. And these are my social media accounts. Enjoy the video! Hi everyone, it's Aquila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and we are starting off the week right because the Bloxburg Halloween update is actually here already. I was kind of expecting it because of the leaks, but kind of not expecting it because I was like, I don't really think they're gonna update on a Monday. But they did just that and I am here for it. I feel like this update is really going to give what it was supposed to give. So let's go ahead and read the update log. So it says, Happy Fall. Happy Fall, y'all. Added fall and Halloween themed decorations, foods, and locations. Added plenty of pumpkins and orchards farm. Added ghost cookies, pumpkin muffins, and tombstone brownies. Added pumpkin plants, corn stalks, and cornstalk fence, added thunderstorms and lightning, added time weather and ground color override settings for neighborhoods. What? Oh my gosh, okay. Added three, six, and 12 month neighborhood renewal tiers, tweaked weather visuals, minor UI changes, and of course, let's say it together, major bug fixes. What the heck? Okay, so one of our leaks has been debunked. We were like, oh, we're gonna get a new calendar system. Technically it is because it's for um, your neighborhood renewal tiers. And I'm highly interested in this added time weather and ground color override settings for your neighborhood. So let's go and check that out before we do anything else. So if we click the settings button and go to options, wait, I think that this is more focused on and like the background is blurry now. I could be wrong, but I think that's new. But look, right in front of us, it says neighborhood settings. And now we have the option to change the weather time and ground color. Oh my gosh. Let's try this out now. So right now the weather is on auto, but we can change it to clear weather, rain, fog, or thunderstorm. And then for the time, yes, it's on auto right now, but this is gonna be super helpful for when I'm filming role plays, like this entire tool. So let's set it to 8 a.m. and just keep it there until I want it to be nighttime. And then the ground color. Wait, if we have the RGB, can we like make our own color? Like if I wanted the ground to be pink? That's crazy. Us role players have wanted a tool like this for a while. If you guys have seen my behind the scenes videos, we spend so much extra time filming our role plays just waiting for the perfect time. I've mentioned this before, but like if I'm doing a family morning routine, we're not gonna film at nighttime. Like that just doesn't make sense. But right now I'm just on my filming setup plot. So I just have this little area for um, my intro for this video. So we're gonna change the ground color to this. That is definitely so much better. Last year on Twitter, we actually got to vote for the grass color and my color wasn't chosen. I was so upset. Like people picked the worst color. I was like, why would you do that? But now we literally have the option, which is awesome. People always complain about Bloxburg and say that, you know, it doesn't update as much as other games do, but we have to give Coeptus and Froggy credit where credit is due. First of all, for this whole entire game. But second, when we ask for something, we definitely receive it. Having developers who listen to you and take in what you want in the game and change things, 12 out of 10. Exceptional, so thank you. Okay guys, so now we're in build mode, so let's go ahead and check out all the new stuff. If we go into the build category, wait, there's actually another new category. So it says new, and special. Let's check out new first. So we have the corn stalk fence, the corn stalk, and the pumpkin plant. I cannot access these two because my gardening level is like a three. That is so unfortunate, but that's okay. Let's see what this corn fence is like. So I'm guessing the regular corn stalk just looks like this, but if we drag it out, it is now a fence. It just looks like a regular decal, but there's also like bits and pieces of like actual 
plants and corn popping out but that's pretty cool i'm gonna get rid of that for now and then if we go in the special category we have the spooky bush the spooky tree and the scarecrow which are three items that we saw in last year's update but this was a leak too the star icon so now we know what it's for these are special because these are only for sale during halloween and then if we go in the decorate category we have a spider web garland a pumpkin mat i swear i saw a build hack of this so that's awesome the bat's wall decal the floating witch hat lamp so that's what the oh my gosh everything is making sense now we saw a mesh of a witch hat and we were all like wondering what it was for on twitter then we have the oil lantern the emerging feet and an empty cauldron if we go into the special category we have all the other Halloween stuff. Everything looks the same as last year. If you were here for last year's update, you guys already know the drill on all of these items. I mean, I literally have the items right over there, so we're not gonna get into complete detail. I'm gonna do another video decorating my roleplay house, and then that's when we'll check out all the items and stuff. But there are some new locations, so let's go ahead and check them out. So first of all, the entire town is decorated for Halloween, but right by the BFF supermarket, we have a pumpkin stand where you can actually buy pumpkins which is awesome i think this was here last year so if you click on it you can buy this pumpkin which is just your standard pumpkin and you can also buy the tall pumpkin this is another location that we saw last year and it is the plenty of pumpkin stand but there's something new here it says come visit us at our new farm located next to the campgrounds awesome we'll definitely go and do that after we check out the graveyard over there but let's go ahead and click on her hey long time no see i mean it's been a whole year but you can buy awesome treats from her so you can also buy pumpkins um but you can buy caramel apples apple cider and pumpkin spice lattes now we're at the spooky graveyard so there's a fountain over here a bunch of tombstones this man trying to escape anyways over here we have this like caution area this man already escaped and then over here there's a cauldron with a little ghost witch another ghost a spider just to add a little spookiness to Bloxburg. this is also another location that we saw last year okay so now we're right by the campground but there's another trail and it says plenty of pumpkins and orchard so let's run over there and see what it looks like i'm so excited this is awesome we've always wanted oh my gosh that place is huge we've always wanted um them to do something else with this space wait this is really giving i'm not building a farm absolutely not mm -mm. we're gonna be using this one look this is incredible holy cow wait there's music playing there's a band oh my gosh oh that's so cool this better be copyright free or i'm fighting so uh oh my gosh it's so cool wait hold on hold on hold on i have to like take it all in so this is the um parking lot and then oh i'm so excited here's what it looks like from the front and then let's go over here so we have the carpet oh that's awesome it's so cute <gasps> wait let's go to the band first but there's like places to eat yo this is great but let's get back to our music real quick so it says tom and the beat builders <gasps> whoa this is so amazing wait there's like a place for the kids to go to so we have a play set this little decorative area oh my gosh wait you can carve pumpkins over here and then we have the jumper of course so let's see what this place has to offer <gasps> wow there's a bunch of sweet treats wait this is stuff that we can bake at home too so um I think I'll just save that for another video because we can literally see them. So there's the ghost cookies, the tombstone brownies, and the 
pumpkin muffins. Awesome! I don't know how many times I said awesome in this video, but if we click on this guy, hey, we can buy all of the fall treats. Caramel apples, tombstone brownies, Halloween cupcake, pumpkin muffin, pumpkin spice latte, apple cider, ghost cookie, and pumpkin cookie. I'm gonna buy the pumpkin muffin. Mmm, it's so yummy! And don't forget that you can also click on the um, candy baskets, candy bowls, and buy candy too. And if you're holding a um, candy bucket and actually click on this too and take some candy, it fills up your candy bucket. Hey, look, it's plenty of pumpkins. Oh, okay. So from here, you can only buy pumpkins because all the treats are over there. Wait, can, can I see what's back here? Oh, that's cool that we can still go back there. Um, but we have a photo opportunity, it looks like. I mean, I guess it could be a photo opportunity. It could also just be a place to chill out. We have a place where you can pick out your pumpkins. Oh, I love this. And then, is this the start? I guess this is the start of the maze. So let's go and check this out. Let's see. Um, I'm the worst at mazes. Like, genuinely suck at these. Wait, I think I went the wrong way. Wait, we're still we're still moving though. We haven't found a dead end. Oh. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Okay, so let's just run this way. Do we get a prize for this? Because this is very time consuming. Let's see. <gasps> oh, that's scary. Uh, let's not go that oh, let's not go that way either. That's a dead end. Okay, there's a backwards ghost. So I don't know who he was trying to scare. No clue where I'm going. Wait, is this it? Did we? We did it! Oh my gosh, it says congratulations, challenge completed. And we got a plaque. We got the corn maze plaque. Wait, and then it takes you back to the front. Oh, that's great because I would not know how to get out of there. I want to see what these thunderstorms are like. So let's go back to my plot. Guys, look at this thunderstorm. <gasps> I'm getting so many video ideas. Oh my goodness. And then this is the fog weather option. Oh my gosh, this is like creepy. And at nighttime, it's even spookier. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video off here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video and comment down below and let me know what is your favorite part of this update. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.